Hi friends, my name is Ashley. I wanna say a huge shout out to all those people watching our church at home today. Even though some of you are on campus watching with us, it's so much fun for everyone watching our church at home program. Parents out there, make sure to check out our website for the parent content where you have resources and games and activities for you guys to do. All right, I think it's time to head over to worship. So let's go have some fun. Never. 
on bouncing. Although, as you'll see in today's story, maybe there's something better to focus on. No. Focus. <sighs> see you in a bit. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Inspired by the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses one through three. Allie shoved her swimsuit into the bag along with the towel. Where are my goggles? Mom was trying to hold Allie's younger brother, Jack, as she wrestled shoes onto his feet. Check the laundry room. You dumped your swim bag there. Dumped your swim bag there. Dumped your swim bag there. I get it already. Allie. I know, I know, Mom. It's just what Jack does. Dumped your swim bag there. Allie bit her lip to keep from snapping back and ran to the laundry room. It was her biggest swim meet of the season, but Dad was on a business trip and Mom had snagged some big appointment for Jack with some new doctor. Grandpa will be here in two minutes to pick you up. I'm putting Jack in the car. Good luck with that. Allie snagged her goggles and threw them in her bag. 
Of course Jack was melting down again. This new doctor's appointment wasn't part of his regular routine. No one cares about my routine. Allie lugged her swim bag out the door to see Grandpa's beat-up Jeep behind Mom's minivan. Mom was trying to strap Jack into his seat, but he was flailing and flapping his hands. Rex Rex! Rex Rex! Rex Rex! Rex Rex! Rex Rex was one of Jack's gazillion toy dinosaurs. He spent hours lining them up and he could recite all of their names, Pterodactyl, Ichthyosaurus, and yet he couldn't manage a simple hello. Allie, could you run back in and grab Rex Rex? Uh, no, wait, I'll do it. I I've got to lock the door. Mom flew past Allie on her way back in and planted a kiss on her cheek. You'll do great at the meet, sweetie. I love you. Allie waved goodbye to Jack as she passed the van, but he wasn't paying attention. Sighing, she hopped into the Jeep beside Grandpa. Hi, Papa. Hi, Angelfish. All ready to swim? I guess. <sighs> Allie's mom tore out of the house, carrying Rex Rex, rawr, and made a beeline for the minivan, calling out to Grandpa and Allie. Thanks so much for doing this. It all happened last minute. Grandpa and Allie waved goodbye, and the Jeep backed out. You doing okay? Yeah. Who's this fancy doctor? I don't know. He's some autism expert, and there's usually like a six-month wait to see him, but... Mom got a call an hour ago to come. Well, that's good for Jack, right? Is it? I mean, he's already going to speech therapy and occupational therapy and play therapy, and I thought he was supposed to get better or something. But they did that big evaluation thing last month, and now Mom says Jack has autism. And he doesn't get better. It's just the way you are. Well, that sure is a lot to think about. Hmm, you, you do some good thinking while you swim, right? I guess, but half the time Mom has to pull me out of swim practice so we can get to one of Jack's therapy sessions. And she's already said if I swim this summer, I'm going to have to miss a bunch. Sometimes I just... I want my brother to be different. That's awful. I'm an awful person. No, Angelfish, you, you've been running a tough race. I hate running. All right, then. Swimming. You, you've been swimming really hard, and you just found out there's no finish line. You're not really talking about swimming, are you? I always said you were the brightest fish in the barrel. <laughs> Papa. I know. It feels like your parents spend all their time and attention on Jack. I, I guess we all hoped that could change, but now it looks like change is going to be more of a 10,000-meter swim instead of a 50-meter sprint. Allie sighed and glanced up at the sparkling blue pool as they pulled into the parking lot of the Y. I'm just tired of it. I want a brother who likes to be hugged and play games and doesn't draw attention when he comes to my swim meets. It would be easier to quit swimming. They both stared at the neatly marked lanes in the pool. You got a minute before you need to be out there? Yeah, I think. What you're facing isn't fair, but everyone's story is different. Everyone has their own 10,000 meter swim, and there's only one way to stick it out. Extra practice? Well, that helps for sure, but I'm thinking about the Jesus kind. Can I read you a couple of verses? You're going to anyway. Grandpa tapped on his phone. Aha, Hebrews chapter 12. Let us keep on running the race marked out for us. Let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith. And he is the one who completes it. He paid no attention to the shame of the cross. He suffered there because of the joy he was looking forward to. Then he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He made it through these attacks by sinners. So think about him. You won't get tired. You won't lose hope. Hmm. I never thought about all that stuff Jesus went through like running a hard race. You think he swam too? Didn't need to, because he could walk on water. <laughs> Jesus paved the way for us. Even when we're tired and we mess up, and we know we can get back up and keep going because we're loved and forgiven no matter what. I love swimming. I really don't want to stop. Good. Let's get you in that pool, angelfish. Ellie smiled and hopped out of the Jeep. She found she felt a little bit lighter. Light enough to swim extra hard, 
light enough to finish her final swim of the afternoon with a personal record. Amazing swim, Allie. Swim, Allie, swim, Allie, swim, Allie. Allie wiped water from her eyes to see Jack and Mom cheering near the gate. Jack wore noise-canceling headphones and cheered and jumped up and down, wildly flapping his hands. She noticed that he was looking right at her. <laughs> swim, Allie, swim, Allie. Allie smiled and flapped her hand right back at him. <sighs> they had a long journey ahead, but you know, Allie was ready to keep going. <gasps> Sometimes life isn't easy. You can get distracted by things that don't matter. <laughs> Sometimes things you don't expect make you stumble. <laughs> and then there are times you make choices that just aren't wise. You want to keep going, but you can't seem to focus. That's why the writer of Hebrews wrote, let us keep looking to Jesus. He is the one who started this journey of faith, and he is the one who completes this journey of faith. Following Jesus can be like running an obstacle course. The goal is to obey God, to love God, and to love other people. You'll mess up along the way, you'll break the rules, you'll say and do things that aren't loving, you'll be selfish, but you can't let your mess up stop you from trying again. Remember, Jesus has already paid the price for all our sins, all our mess ups. When he died on the cross, he did that for you because that's how much he loves you. So whenever you feel like giving up, think of Jesus. The one thing to remember today is this, keep going because of what Jesus did for you. It feels so good to be bouncing again. Nothing's gonna stop me this time. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs>